So how can we add the remaining logic for taking the user input image and uploading it using upload button and then rendering the original image and corresponding apparel prediction on the web page just like we saw in the demo video of this series. Folks, Nitin here and this is the AI University channel. This is the part 2 of the previous video and in this video we are going to see the remaining python code to build flask app containing server side processing so that it can receive the image as a request and send the response back to the browser in terms of predicting the class of that image. I already showed you the demo of it in the first video where I was sending the request from the browser and receiving the response in terms of prediction. We will be making use of our CNN model which we built in the previous videos. So watch this video till the end. If you are new here then consider subscribing to this channel or if you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about hottest technologies of 21st century. GitHub link for all the required Jupyter notebooks is given in the description section. Please don't forget to like and share this video. So let's move on to the atom editor to see the remaining python code for app.py file. So next we are creating a new function here to load a specific image and prepare or pre-process in such a way that it can be recognized by our CNN model efficiently in order to provide apparel predictions. So we named this function as read underscore image. This read underscore image function is taking the file name as an argument for which we want to draw the predictions. In this function we are first making use of Keras load underscore img package to load a specific image. This method takes three arguments. Number one is file name. Then the second parameter is grayscale which is set as true because this model is trained on grayscale images and hence uh, can provide the predictions related to grayscale images only. Hence we need to set grayscale parameter as true. Then the next parameter is target size which is kept as 28 by 28 in order to make size of all the input images uniform that is 28 by 28. There are two main reasons for keeping this input uh, image size uniform. Number one, if your input image dimensions are considerably smaller than what uh, the CN uh, model was trained on, then that small size image introduces two less details and hence hurting the accuracy of the model. Number two, if your input image dimensions are considerably larger than uh, what the CNN model was trained on, then the large size image introduces too many details and hence again hurting the accuracy. Moving on, in the next line we are making use of img2 array library of Keras to convert the image into an array so that our deep learning model can understand that image in numerical terms. And that's the language which each uh, machine learning model understands. Then we are uh, reshaping this image into sample of one channel. One channel here represents that our image is grayscale. If its value is kept as 3 then it means that it's a colored image. So this particular number represents the channel, this last value. We did uh, the similar kind of image pre-processing during the model training as well. Then we are converting it into data type float using as type method. After that we are normalizing it by dividing it by 255 so that range of pixels can be converted from 0 to 255 to 0 to 1. Finally we are returning the processed image here. We then used the route decorator to tell uh, Flask app uh, what URL should trigger our function. Here slash means that URL is associated with home page. So this decorator tells at the rate app that whenever a user visits our uh, app domain, let's say hypothetically we have a domain xyz.com. So it tells whenever our user visits our app domain uh, xyz.com at the given route then it will execute the home function which is this function. So this home function returns the home page or 
I would say renders this template home.html and uh, this template is actually kept here in the template folder templates folder so this home function returns the home page if we provide the URL as xyz.com followed by slash which is this particular slash in the browser so if you are not familiar with python decorators then let me tell you they are essentially logic which wraps other functions they always execute the functions defined below itself so this one okay so this is the route function and it always execute this function which is defined below itself so here we can see that there is one more parameter defined here which is called as methods equals to get post which is a list of accepted http methods if you don't specify this argument here then the default value of get would be considered here so get method is used to request data from the web server and post method is used to send data to the web server to create or update a resource so in a nutshell our home.html will be called first time when we provide the url or ip address followed by slash post method is specifically used in uh, in the method parameter here because we are going to upload an image here from this home page right so then that particular image will be sent or posted to the web server that's why we are using the post method so this upload uh, operation will be considered as post moving on then we have another uh, route decorator for slash predict endpoint we have defined predict function right underneath this decorator so this is the function where we have added functionality to predict the fashion tag for a particular apparel image here we are first checking if the request method is post if it is post request then we are retrieving the file name from request.files and then moving ahead then we have included entire uh, code in try accept block from error handling perspective so inside a try which is the block that will get executed if everything is going fine we are checking as a part of uh, if condition whether we have got the valid file name and whether the file name bears the valid file extension such as uh, jpg png and jpeg if the condition satisfies then we are storing the file name in a variable called file name file path or folder location for saving the uploaded file or image is defined using os.path.join this method takes two parameters first one is uh, the folder location to save image to which in our case is static slash images and which is this particular location static and underneath it there is a subfolder images where this Im uh, these images will get saved so we have created a separate subfolder images inside a static folder to save these images second argument is the name of a image file which we want to save so when we upload an image from home page of this app it will come and store in the image folder only here in the next line we are making use of save method to store or save the image in desired location or path once saved we are then reading this image using read underscore image method providing the location of the image as an argument then in the next line in the with block we are first loading our uh, cnn model using load underscore model thereby passing name of the model as an argument which in our case is clothing underscore classification underscore model dot h5 file please note that this model needs to be present in the project directory if we want to get predictions so you can see that this particular file is present in our directory project directory which you can see here also in the atom editor right so this is the file next we are making use of predict underscore classes method associated with this model in order to get the class predictions for the uploaded image we will get a numerical value as an output of this prediction this numerical value depicts one of the 10 classes associated with apparel 
we are storing that numerical value in the variable called class underscore prediction. Now we need to map that numerical value with the proper apparel category and hence we are using if elif else block here right to, de to determine the category of apparel based on the numerical value which we got as a part of that prediction. The apparel category is stored in the variable called product. So you can see the code is pretty much self explanatory here. Finally, we are making use of render underscore template library to render the predict.html web page by passing variable product which contains apparel category name and original image path as an argument. So by providing the image path, we will render the original image on the predict web page just like we saw in the demo video along with the fashion tag or apparel category name using this product variable. So product variable contains the name of the fashion tag or the category which may be shirt, sandal, coat, dress etc. Okay. So these two items will be rendered on predict.html web page at slash predict decorator endpoint. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So you can see that the original image and the fashion tag or the apparel category is being displayed on slash predict endpoint. In the accept block, we are just handling the error, thereby giving a information message. You can replace this message by your own message. Okay. So message is given here. Finally, we have defined if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals to main inside which we have init and app.run. So when we call our app.py program, first the init function will be invoked, which we defined above, followed by app.run. So this concludes our uh, app.py file Python related code. In the next upcoming videos, I'm going to cover the HTML code related to this home.html and predict.html pages where we will see how to render the original image and predicted apparel uh, category of fashion tag. So I will cover this code related to HTML in the next upcoming videos. So here is today's question. In this app, the images are getting saved to which folder? You can find the same question in the videos comment section as well. So the options are number one, static slash IMG. Number two, static slash images number three static slash imgs number four statics slash images please post your answers comments in the comment section given below so that i can get a chance to incorporate your feedback you can also post your technical questions in the comment section and i will try to answer the same if you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel consider clicking that little subscribe button in case you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever I will release a new video. So thanks for hanging out with me guys. I will be covering next topic in the upcoming video. So keep on watching. Thank you.